Wikipedia defines Souls-like as a subgenre of action role-playing games known for high levels of difficulty and emphasis on environmental storytelling. Obviously, the real definition is any game with a roll button. I like to find games with roll buttons that I'm pretty sure you haven't heard of. So, if that sounds interesting, this is episode 15 of Steam Dumpster Diving. Alright, first up we have Divinus Vanitas. It says it's a multiplayer, souls-inspired spellcasting game. It's also a student project from Kajani University of Applied Sciences, which is a school in Finland. They are charging money for it, which is a little odd, based off past experience with student projects I found on Steam. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. And because this is multiplayer, I thought it made sense to invite someone to play with me. It's probably too early to say like whether this is a game of the year contender, um, but you can change the color of your tongue in this game. It's character creator, so... Okay, I've not made it there yet, but that's good to know. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, wait, it's under teeth. There's teeth color, gum color, tongue color, and then dirt color. <laughs> it's like, is that dirt on in it your mouth? Do <laughs> is that dirt in your mouth? <laughs> like, what is oh, this? Yeah, true. <laughs> your name will find it. Can we change later? Okay, you confirm. And... Perfect. You... Are yellow, I'm blue. Let's make some fucking green, baby. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Your name's Homer you, Simpson. You didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that until now. Did you... Oh, maybe I looted them all. There was, like, a bunch of spells in here. Did you... I figured they'd be, like... <laughs> I figured they'd be, like, shared between us. Are they not here for you? No. I have... <laughs> I have nothing. It's like fireball, cloak of crows, got all this epic equipment. <laughs> How do I... Oh shit, there's friendly fire! Wait, what? Oh, you know... <laughs> Here we go! Oh, <laughs> wait, fuck you. Hey, buddy. Bro, you're shooting me! <laughs> oh, you look so similar. <laughs> do you actually have a healing spell? Oh my god, you actually have yeah, healing... I, I You do. took all the spells, I don't have any spells. Yeah, let's go, bro. <laughs> do you have any other spells? That one. I'm gonna freeze them, then you fireball them, okay? Alright. It has such a big AoE, I'm sorry. Oh shit. Shift is like a dodge teleport. <laughs> you fucker! Oh shit, I think I only hit you. <laughs> yeah! Here, check this out, I got lightning run. That was it. Wait, Wait does, it, does it hurt you? Like, Hold on. Like this? Did that hurt you? Are you sure that's it? No. Oh, did he hold it down? Oh my god! Oh! Holy shit! <laughs> that's sick! Wait, the, what the fuck that's OP? Hey, check this out. I'm playing Sonic Frontiers, baby. Yeah. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, no, having some sort of reticle to aim would be mm -hmm. a huge... Or, like, let me aim down sights. Is he just running away from us? Mm -hmm. Here, I'll catch yeah. up to him. Yeah, get him, Sonic. <laughs> I like how you can just, like, throw the spell over your shoulder, like, while you're running away. <laughs> <laughs> it, like, the animation yeah. makes more sense when you're running, like, backwards. Like, it looks really good when you're running backwards, but when you're walking forward, your guy's just, like, looking away from it. God, that's bright! Exactly. <laughs> I will say that the world is pretty nicely put together, though. I mean, you say that as we come across just a tree in the middle of the road, and then, like, a rock, like, randomly... Yeah. <laughs> no, that shows that, you know, it's been a long time since people have used this road, and it's just fallen into disrepair. How did... How's, what's the lore for this rock? Like clipping through the fence. How's that work? I yeah, know I got nothing. Okay. <laughs> I realized by calling myself Homer Simpson, I've like put pressure on myself to roleplay as this character. I just want to let you know that's not going to happen. That's okay, man. <laughs> not good. You thought Homer Simpson, but you could have been a minion. Oh, yeah. That's, that's true. It's a little more topical. I've very intentionally not introduced my son to that show. <laughs> to the minions? Yeah. Why? This is so annoying. What do you mean? <laughs> you gotta play it tactical with these things, you know? Cast your, like, radius heal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Surely. Oh, you got it too? Yeah, surely we could be, like, invincible with this, right? We just stack this. I keep locking onto you by accident. Okay, like, listen. Friendly fire is funny, and I appreciate that, but don't let me lock on to my friend. <laughs> healing, healing, healing. Yeah, just keep casting the group heal. It's so dark. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Dude, this is like a survival horror game more than it is like a <laughs> action RPG. What the fuck is this rat? <laughs> Look at it. Okay, he dropped a ball of light for 30 seconds. That sounds not useful in this game. <laughs> no, when we go into the forest, it's fucking pitch black. That's when you drop that shit. I guess. <laughs> You're so low. Yeah, that was the damage he did with one hit. I feel like we missed something important if we're getting one shot by enemies. <laughs> What's our strategy? Just... 
our patented strategy of freezing and running away. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna rend it. Okay, it's got fire. Ow. Ooh. It's not hurting me, though. Freezing. Freezing! I'm trying to freeze. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that spin! What if... We get our stuck, ourselves stuck on a high point of the map and the dragon can't get us. I like it. Okay, wait, maybe I'll... maybe we're safe up here? Oh. Okay, we are not safe I'll up here. I'll just heal. We are yeah. not safe You're up here. Dead. I aggro to Centaur. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> now the Centaur's never gonna leave us alone. Okay, I'm killing the centaur. Okay, well, he's on our spawn point, so we can just keep respawning. Okay. Yes, the cheese! He's stuck between the trees. Perfect. Oh, this is great. Alright, we're just gonna do this for the next um, 10 minutes. Yep. Oh, wait. The objective on the right says, Knights of the Crow Keep might have left something useful to use against the dragon. <laughs> wait! <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like... Fucking... Oh. Some like insta kill thing, <laughs> you know? Okay, you keep the dragon aggro. I'll go look for the super weapon. Okay. I'm gonna check over here first. Oh, I found Ray of Death. That might be it. Yeah, that's it. Ray of Death. It says deals 30 damage three times to all creatures in its path. I, I mean, that's not. We'll see if that's good. And Ray of Death. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting something a little stronger. In the open plane? Here we go. Right? Like. Ooh. We did it. It says, it says your final score was two. <laughs> what? Mine, says, mine said your final score was zero. <laughs> Do you think it has like anything that's like makes it stand out from the other games you sort of play on this channel? Yeah, I mean, I, I think my, my thoughts are the idea of like a multiplayer game where your mages and there's friendly fire is fun. I mean... Magicka is kind of already like that, but way better. Mm. But you know, yeah, like a, a friendly fire magic focused souls like is a cool idea. The best moments were like getting rendered by you or accidentally blowing you up with the fireball. So <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. All right, next up is the demo for Asterigos. It's a Souls-like inspired by Greek and Roman mythologies, and it's apparently coming out pretty soon. Screenshots for this definitely caught my eye. Looks pretty promising, honestly. So yeah, let's check it out. And we're waking up in the middle of a forest. Let's check out the controls so I can can roll, can attack, can block, do a heavy attack, and charge attack. It's neat how you can just kind of like chain that together. You can like sword into hammer directly. I like that. Yo, we can break the crates. It's a good sign. All right, some inventory. <laughs> I like the action pose. Okay. Improves your poise, making you less likely to be interrupted. This game has poise. All right, let's fight. Yeah. I'm going in. Got him. Okay, so I can change my weapons around. So I was using sword and shield and hammer. Oh yeah, wait, I have six weapons. Okay, let's try daggers and spear. Oh, these are cool. Hold on, let's try the other ones. Uh, staff and bracelet. All right. This is staff. Yo, hold on. Did they make magic cool? Oh, you can aim it. And then what else I got? Whoa, whoa. Am I placing mines on the ground? What is this? Can I snipe this guy? You can just snipe guys with this weapon, what the hell? This is kind of sick! This combat feels pretty good, actually. This is very polished. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put this down. Is this a mine I just put down? It is! I can just drop mines! Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I just found out you can charge your attacks. Whoa. All right, Giga Crocodile. Let's get in there, hit him. Roll. Put some mines down. Oh, right on the mines. Did they use the skill? Huge. All right, I'll, 
I'll finish him off with the charge attack. There we go. Is this game good? Am I having fun? I think I am. I'm gonna switch over to daggers and spear again. I like how you can mix and match these. Okay, so with the uh, the spear ability, the spear is the one weapon that can parry. This is like the parry move. Wait, hold on, I have like all these skills I can equip. All right, hold up. Throw your spear in a straight line. Yo, that's cool. There's just a launch move for the hammer. Oh, I might have to go back to that. Wait, so can I use a hammer skill without the hammer equipped? Oh, you can. Okay, hold on. I really like that. Whoa! Relax, bro. Let's try parrying this guy. Oh, I can. Nice. Nice. All right, let's try this move. Oh my god, the damage is crazy on that. All right, let's try... Let's try this move. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> oh. Okay, I see, I didn't die. My necklace saved me. That's kind of a cool way to uh, contextualize it. The lightning is so annoying. <laughs> it rolled right into that, okay. Okay, almost got it. There we go. I'm actually liking this a lot. Oh, it ended? Are you kidding me? Yeah, wow, that was a... Uh... That was an impressive demo. It's been a while since I've played like an indie Souls-like with that level of polish and where basically every attack in the game just felt good on some level. I'm, yeah, I'm impressed. The only real criticism that comes to mind is that it's fairly linear, but I mean, this is the demo. I don't know how linear the actual game is gonna be. So maybe it will be a lot more exploration focused. Maybe not, who knows? I can't say for sure if the full game is going to be good or not, you know, I've played demos that were really good and the full game came out and was less impressive and I've had the opposite happen where I wasn't grabbed by the demo and the full game came out and it was actually really good. So can't make any promises there, but at the very least I'd say I'm personally interested enough to check out the full game when it comes out. All right, next up is the demo for Tower Princess. This is a 3D platformer roguelike where you play as a knight and you have to rescue princesses. Don't really know if this is actually a Souls-like, but I found it in the Souls-like section and I saw it has a roll button. So, you know, let's just all nod our heads and check it out. An evil dragon kidnapped all the princesses of every known kingdom. Cobalt Princess. Do I want to rescue Cobalt Princess? Look at that fucking, look at that idle pose. Also, do I have a sausage? on my chest. All right, so I can jump, can roll around, and I can attack. Oh, I can do a spin attack. Nice. And a charge attack. Okay. <laughs> I love the animations. They're so exaggerated. Nice. Can I let you out? You've unlocked one token. You have my deepest thanks for freeing me, gentle knight. I'm so glad you rescued me. Does she like follow me now? Wait, she does. Oh, I love it. Bench pressing with the siege weapon. Nice. Doing curls with a rock. <laughs> Is he buffing the other guys? Oh my god. Oh god. Choose your knight. Um, I can choose him with a gun? Oh, hey. <laughs> this is awesome. What's my special? I can... Oh, that's sick. Okay, wait. The gun's way better. I'm really into these enemy designs. The way they're animated is so fun. Oh, it's new princess. Human princess. Wait, I don't care. I'll have a look for a worthy suitor somewhere else. What? Maybe I can talk to her after the run. Oh, yeah, these guys are a little too spongy. That walk animation is supreme. Why does this barrel have an eye? What the? It made more barrels? What? What the? 
what just happened? I just died to the mimic slime crab, I guess. Okay, whatever. At least I can try... I can try the human princess now. Yeah, human princess unlocked. Oh, here we go. It says, your princess selects consecutive random enemies to defeat. Do it on time and she'll give you reward depending on your success. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's so easy to take damage as the melee character. Well, what is this? Lip... <laughs> what? This looks awesome. Better hit the food before it gets burnt. What? Oh, okay. Wait, I get it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, fuck. It's you. Ow. Okay, hold on a second. Look at this health bar. Yo. Bro, there's no way. Dude, this game's turning into Fall Guys. Oh my god. Penguin Princess. Alright, here we go. Dude, that health bar is insane. See, this is like a conceptually really cool fight. It's just the numbers are way off. Also, dodging doesn't seem to give iframes, which is very questionable for a game like this. Okay, I think I'm done. I just want to check what the Penguin Princess does real quick. That's cool. <laughs> I really want this game to be good. I'm very into the style. I like the premise. There's so much charm to like the designs and the animations. Um, I don't know, combat doesn't feel great though. I'm, I find myself getting hurt way too frequently from attacks I feel like they shouldn't be hitting me. The numbers feel weirdly balanced. Also it is structured as a roguelike, but I noticed even after just a few runs, I was running into the exact same rooms over and over again. Just the order of them was changed. So the rooms would be identical with like identical enemy placements, just I'm finding them in a slightly different order. That's not enough randomization for a roguelike, especially when like I'm not finding power-ups throughout the run that are changing my build or anything. There's none of that. Yeah, I don't know. This has good bones on it, but it's still going to need a lot of work until it actually is in a state that people will find fun. So between when I played the demo and now, the game fully released. In an effort to be fair and thorough, I decided to buy it and try again. Unfortunately, basically all the issues I had are still here and even more evident than they were before. Enemy tankiness. Oh my god, I can't believe the game released like this. Enemies have about three times as much health as they should, and bosses go far beyond that. I managed to beat the game's final boss, but it took me over 10 minutes of me dealing constant damage as I dodged the same four attacks. That's too long. Level structure. I kept seeing the same rooms with the same layouts and enemies over and over. Even within a single run, I would sometimes see the exact same room three or four times with the same handful of enemies. It's genuinely egregious. On top of that, there are these platforming gauntlets the game throws at you. These can sometimes take several minutes to complete, and stuff like this has no place in a roguelike where you're expected to repeat content across multiple runs. It's just the same thing over and over with no variety. That would be bad enough if the platforming itself was decent, but it's not. It can be pretty rough. Despite the constant repetition, the game is also remarkably short. There are just two areas and three bosses total. I have a feeling that this might explain the bizarre tankiness of the enemies and bosses as the developers wanted to possibly prevent people from winning too quickly, but who knows. And that brings me to my last point. I really don't think this should have been a roguelike. There's some incredible talent and charm in the arts, animations, and premise of different princesses teaming up with a knight, but none of the game's design is properly utilized in the roguelike genre. I think this game could have been far stronger as a linear experience with set levels because in its current state, I can't recommend it to anyone. All right, next up is Sir Whoopass. This is another game I found in the Souls-like section. It's looking like it's trying to be a funny game. And one of the main reasons I'm playing it is because the top review was, it's like Elden Ring, but against the IRS. You know what? Sure, why not? That sounds, that sounds fun. This story begins like many other games in this genre, on a dark and stormy night. This is used as comic relief, but also to establish character. Dude, is this like the Stanley Parable of fantasy games? Am I into this? Something needs to break this tranquility. <laughs> you know what? That was kind of a fun intro. 
pick up garden gnome. Gnomes are your main sources of protein. Press button to consume one. <laughs> they are delicious. Okay. Okay, let me press button. Wow. Open chest. Got my sword back. Your first weapon TM acquired. Attack like this. Okay, so we can we can roll around like that. Oh, rolling does damage, or like it staggers them. It looks like. All right, left bumper to block. 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 Yeah, so the roll's pretty good. It seems like it's mostly, like, an offensive option to knock them over. Propeller hat acquired. Oh, it just goes on over top. Now that we have reached the end of the tutorial level, the player is ready for the actual game. Yeah. But here's also the mandatory deadly swinging trap section with a jumping puzzle, just as expected. Of course. Have I made it to the real game now? Finally, we are done. This is also emphasized in the uplifting background music. In fact, we have decided we are completely done with our hero as well. <laughs> it's time to let things go. That was a fun game. Oh. Yeah, um... Kind of funny. Um... Fine. Let's show what really happened. Part of me would have been okay with that. He's right behind me, isn't he? Dark Souls have prepared me for this. Block. Nice. Block. Nice. Okay, blocking is just overpowered. Got it. Block. And we got him. I got the bonk weapon now. Just bonk people. Gotta collect 20 eggs by just beating chickens up. Oh, they got Wi-Fi here. Nice. What do you got? I guess I'll take the small ass sword. Okay. Pick up explosive barrel. Ooh, hold on. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this down right here. Okay. <laughs> Shark. Oh! Oh no, it's a puzzle. I'm terrible at these. Oh shit, that's a lot of guys. Yeah, this is gameplay. The sewers level, my favorite. I would play rats. It's like I'm playing Elden Ring. I do appreciate some of the jokes this game is going for, and like, you know, the parody satire stuff. But uh, like sections like this, where we're just unironically going through like a sewers maze and just fighting dozens and dozens of enemies and rats and stuff. Like, where's the joke, right? I'm just, I'm just doing it. Bucket hat acquired. All right, gotta run 500 meters. Hell yeah. Another puzzle. Oh my god. Jetpack. It's a fucking jetpack. Let's go. Okay, that's kind of fun. Oh, there's fall damage. Did I get a checkpoint? What? <laughs> I literally can't respawn. I'm softlocked. So this game has a few funny moments here and there, and I'm actually kind of open to the idea of an action RPG satire parody game. But the point where I stopped the game, the game wanted me to basically do 17 dungeons in a row of just like straight up dungeons, like copy paste kind of uh, layouts. And I don't know, 
there comes a point where you gotta draw the line between what is a parody and what is actually just the thing you're parodying. And I feel like this game crosses the line. I'm, I'm just playing a generic action game rather than something that's supposed to be funny. I don't know, I mean, it has its moments, but overall, I would say, nah. All right, next up is the demo for Crow Sworn. There's no release date yet, but this is gonna be a Hollow Knight-esque Metroidvania where you play as a Plague Doctor type character. I've been following this game personally for a while and I think it looks pretty cool, so let's check it out. Oh, that's a really cool effect. That looks cool. Okay, so I can jump, got my little scythe. We got the pogo move. Oh, and we have a little dodge roll. Souls like confirmed, baby. All right. Whoa, okay. Don't know what the controls are. Whoa, okay, okay. Still figuring out the controls, bro. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Let me chill. Dude. Okay. All right. Maybe I should figure out the controls. Oh, that's a sick death animation. Let me figure out the controls properly before I do that again. I have a gun. And I can charge the gun. And then I can use like my magic guns. I can do magic with Y. Okay, and that seems to be kind of like the Hollow Knight meter, I'm guessing, with like the magic in the top left. Please. Please tell me that this is like an end game boss, so I don't feel bad. This is so hard. Pogo, jump, right, middle, right, nice, nice, nice. One, two, three, fuck. Oh, I got him! Holy shit. Filth of Anguish. That was fun. That was a fun fight. You completed the demo. Okay, so the <laughs> that was a short demo. So between this and the other trailers that I've seen, I'm actually pretty hopeful for how this is going to turn out. I get people that think this is, you know, just like a Hollow Knight clone or whatever. It's not that. It's doing its own thing still. It has its own sense of style. I'm hopeful. I don't think this is just a clone. I think this is actually going to be something special, so I'd keep an eye on it. All right, next up we have Abigor. This is a student project, which I'm always a fan of, and you play as a demon hunter named Ulrich who's trying to defend his academy from demons. Let's check it out. Humanity finds itself in an everlasting war with unknowable invaders. Hell yeah, we dude. We call them demons. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, the production value, the cutscenes, I'm into it. Oh my god. I like how there's just a campfire in the middle of a classroom. All right, let's go. How do I, how do I get out of here? Why bother listening to that geatric talk when I can actually go fight something? Draco, you can't talk about the headmaster like that. What if he was to, uh, Sir Nightheart, it was all him. Spare the rest of us. Oh, don't worry. I already planned on having a talk with Mr. Draco <laughs> later. Ugh, fine. Whatever. Auric, I am sorry to interrupt you speaking with your friends, but... <laughs> That's right, can't this guy's voice. You know what, this game has a lot of heart. I can tell the people who made this had fun with it. This is great. So we got kind of like a magical forest, we got mushrooms, flowers... Okay, you know, I... I can work with this. Oh, we got a demon. Uh... Alright, I think it was... How do I attack? Right bumper? Nice. Okay, so I can attack like that. I can parry. I think I can also enter like demon mode or something. Okay. What did you say to me? Yeah, nice try. We got a video game here. We're gaming right now. Here we go.
Alright, finally a real fight. Brute. Ooh, okay. He does that. Can you endure the overbearing knight? Yeah, probably. Yeah. There we go. Whoa, okay. Oh my god, my frame rate. I've also unlocked Serpent Stance from the first boss. So... I can like spin around now. Time to channel my inner Geralt. Perfect. Oh, here we go. Was that a... <laughs> Was that a skeleton with a bucket hat? <laughs> Let me try to get one parry. I have not parried a single enemy yet. Okay, I think I got it because I got the blue bar back. I guess it doesn't stun them though. This is some ominous studying. Alright, um... I guess I'll go into the scary mirror portal. <laughs> Dude, the voice actor killed it. Alright, I've fallen into hell. Yeah, I have lightning mode now. Can like fire lightning bolt things. It seems kind of bad though. So one of my main pieces of feedback is sometimes it's just kind of hard to see what's even going on. It's hard to see like when attacks are even hitting and you know, I I, I just kind of mash the attack button. In the end, your human side could never best be. Hell will soon be painted with your blood child. The least you can do is make it interesting. This is incredible. Spin to win, baby. There's another one? Oh, okay. Alright, let's go, buddy. I got him. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Oh my god. I, I love this. I love these cutscenes so much. All right, uh, that was Abigor. Pretty, pretty neat student project. I think, honestly, this had a lot of heart to it. I appreciate all the effort that went into, like, the cutscenes, the voice acting, the art. It's kind of janky, it's kind of a mess, but I was actually entertained throughout the whole thing, which, you know, is very much not always the case. So, good job, guys. All right, next up is White Lavender. This is a Souls Lake where he plays a little bug and it was developed by Sock Pop Collective. I featured a couple of their games before, but the cool thing with them is that they develop a new game every month, sometimes two games, and that's just their whole thing, making games incredibly quickly. So yeah, let's check it out. Oh, little brother, I'm feeling so sick. Oh no. We need fresh frog spawn, bubble gum, and white lavender. Okay, I can do that. All right, here we are. Um, little bug guy. We got the roll, we got the stamina. <laughs> I kind of like this. Oh, is this the bonfire? Just a big old flower. Whoa, we actually got... We got stats? That's so cool. Also, the thing you collect is pollen. That's funny. Alright, so... I can stab. I can also slash. I like it, and I can block. What's gonna hatch? Wow, a maggot. <laughs> Wait, do I have like a posture bar at the bottom too? They're just doing it all. Combat is not really impressing me at the moment, but I'm forgiving it for its charm. Oh, he stunned me. Oh my God. I am not equipped to handle this guy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow, this is just like Dark Souls. You know, you run in, you grab the item and you leave. Okay, wait, let's leave. Can't leave. 
Well, I have one health and no healing, so... Alright. Giant snail, 416 health. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, one, maybe two more hits. Oh, got him. Hell yeah. That's pretty fun, slimy robe. Um... Oh yeah. Yes. <gasps> frog wizard. Hmm, yes. I'm the magic frog. And I will teach you a powerful magic spell. Here you go. You got fireball. Uh, I'm just- I'm suddenly doing so much more damage with the spear I got. Why is the spear just wildly more powerful than everything else? Whoa, that is good. <laughs> okay. Holy shit, it's a big spoon guy. And big hat. This is the most powerful guy in the game. <laughs> so yeah, I beat it. Short and sweet. Pretty cool for what it is. I feel like it goes on a little too long for how simple it is, but it's neat. I'm not sure if I'd go so far as to recommend you play it yourself, but uh, I thought this was like a fun little time. Hey, I'm doing one more game as a bonus, Wolong Fallen Dynasty. This game doesn't really fit in with these videos as the developers are a AAA studio and the game's already getting a fair bit of press, but I'm including it because I know a lot of people use these videos as a source of recommendations for games to try. And I'm not seeing nearly enough people talk about this game given how good I think it's gonna be. Some quick background, this game is being made by Team Ninja, the developers of Neo and Neo 2. I haven't talked about either of these games on my channel, but I think they're great. They're some of the best games the Souls-like genre has to offer, and Neo 2 specifically is fantastic, assuming you can manage to get over the learning curve. Think of Wolong as an evolution and twist on Neo 2 in the same way that Bloodborne and Sekiro build on Dark Souls. It's got the same core DNA, just with lots of new mechanics. Last week, there was a demo for Wolong on PS5 and Xbox, and after playing it, it has quickly risen near the top of my anticipated games for next year. You might hear some people refer to this as Neo meets Sekiro, and the reason for that is that there's a greater emphasis on stealth kills, and you can deflect attacks which helps build up a meter, leading to posture breaks and critical hits. It's reductive, but yeah, the comparison makes sense. The one mechanic that the whole game revolves around, and the tutorial doesn't make clear, is the spirit gauge. It sits at the bottom of the screen and fluctuates between negative and positive throughout encounters. Landing basic attacks and deflects raises the meter. Missing deflects, dodging, or getting hit by enemies lowers the meter. If it goes down all the way, you're stunned and most likely dead. So the game can punish you harshly, but the reason I like this system so much is because it rewards you too. As you increase the gauge and go into the blue, you can spend your meter on special attacks and magic. Used effectively, the momentum this allows you to build against enemies and bosses is massive because they're bound by the same system. Bosses have an identical spirit gauge that you can lower if you keep up the pressure. Once I figured this all out, everything started to click. I think the system is brilliant, and understanding it is essential to enjoying the game. I really like the direction this game is going, but I have a few points for feedback. One, the tutorial drops the ball on emphasizing the importance of the spirit gauge. Two, there needs to be a sneak or crouch button for stealth. With stealth being a larger focus, it's wild that my only option is to slowly tilt the analog stick when getting near an enemy. Third, I think the deflect timing needs to increase just a hair, like maybe even a single frame. With how punishing getting hit can be, this would go a long way to making the game feel better. Overall though, I had a very fun time with this demo. This is definitely not going to be for everyone due to how demanding it can be, but I'd say keep it on your radar if it looks like your thing. If you do end up getting it, trust me, don't play it like a Souls game. This was the exact same mistake I saw tons of people make with the Neo games. And just like Neo 2, this game is already hard enough even if you're playing it correctly. Hello? Hello! Help me! I'm stuck! Hey, do you want to hear about a VPN service? Please, can you help me out of this? Nope, but NordVPN can help you get out of region locks so you can watch shows or movies from different countries. Stop! Please! So for example, I can't watch The Office on Netflix in the US, but I can switch my region to Canada and I'm all set. Good gosh! Stop! Please. But that's not all. NordVPN is also introducing Threat Protection, a new service that's built in to protect you from malicious websites, malware, trackers, and intrusive ads. Would you stop for a minute, please? So yeah, if you want to get Nord for yourself, click the link in the description to get two years plus four months bonus for free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. I beg! I beg of you! Stop! Anyway, good luck, man. Peace. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ah! 
hey, thank you very, very much for watching. These videos are so much fun to make. I really, I really do enjoy them. I hope that's self-evident through the videos themselves. And I really do appreciate all the comments you guys leave. Um, I do read them, believe it or not. And yeah, like it's very, it's very motivating seeing people excited about these videos. So feel free to leave recommendations for games you want to see. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching.